Hello! <laughs> oh, shut up! Today I'm very excited to be doing a double unboxing with the December Illumicrate box. I am shocked. This is bulging. <laughs> Can you stop insinuating things, please? <laughs> and then, I have been waiting to open this for like a week and it's been very hard. We've got the special edition Daughter of Smoke and Bone box. On Instagram and Twitter and stuff, people have been saying this is like their favorite box yet, like ever, that it's got the best stuff ever in it. So there's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I am very, very excited. I have read Strange Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, but I haven't read Dawn of Spoken Bones. So I'm really excited to have these special editions. And we're gonna open both boxes and we're gonna compare them a bit and see which one I would recommend you buy, whether you can buy their special editions in the future or their monthly boxes, because I'm very lucky that I get sent this stuff, but not many other people do. And when I, before I was being sent it, it wasn't something I could afford because I'm a poor student with not a lot of money. So so I want to be able to advise you like what to spend your money on and what's worth it. Now Illumicrate, I've only had one of their boxes before but I loved it. So I'm very excited. Let's just get into it because I've been rambling. I do have a code with them. I'll put it up on the screen. I believe it is Meg with Books 5 but I, I always forget this stuff. Like I'm, I'm really bad. But I believe it is Meg with Books 5. Oh, I don't know what to look at first. Ah! <laughs> Girl, I just can't take this. It's too much. So we have got a really lovely book sleeve with an art on one side and then it's got a quote on the other side that says something was starting to take shape out of magic and will smoke and bone. Magic and will smoke and bone. Okay, I didn't say that very well. <laughs> I love book sleeves very much, although I do prefer when they zip at the top because I like when I'm traveling to store things like bookmarks in them and you can't really do that if it's got an open top, but this is like kind of like a pleathery one, I'm guessing. Very pretty. You are absolutely right. Sure. Artwork by Mono Lime and quote design by Chatty Nora. Next, what are these? Ooh! Ooh. This is like a book tin that you can kind of put on your shelf and store stuff in. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is big. I've got a big head. Let it be known. <laughs> I would like to defend myself, but sadly, that's the truth. And it's got this beautiful artwork on both sides, and then it's got a bit of spine design on it as well. It looks like stained glass windows. That is so cute. Oh my god, this makes me so excited to read this series. This is going to be one of my top series to read next year, so let me know if you've enjoyed it. Artwork by Rosie Thorns 88 So this is the kind of thing that's going to look really nice on bookshelves, or just anywhere in general, and that you can store stuff in. Because I have a lot of shit I need to shove away. Ooh! Hello. <laughs> Those two items, I'm shook because they're both like star of the show items. And then this looks big. So I'm like, how many star of the show items are we gonna have? Ooh. Oh, these are bookends. We have got these bookends and it says the quote on it, once upon a time, an angel and a devil fell in love. It did not end well. <gasps> They've got these like wing designs on them and there's like city landscapes and eyes and teeth and hands and swords. That is so cute. Wow, that's really nice. That's another like high value item. Do you know what I mean? Like you're getting a lot of really good good stuff in this box. I'm kind of in love. Oh, these are designed by No Front Tail. Fluttering Dreams, inspired by Strange the Dreamer. Okay, I've read that. <laughs> oh yes, here we go. Oh shit, here we go again. Another high value item. What? We've got a mug, ladies and gentlemen. One of my favorite items, book sleeves and mugs and like a bath bomb or a candle, my favorite book box items. Oh, don't even make me cry. <laughs> Thinking about Strange Dreamer just makes me want to sob. Okay, so this is a gorgeous mug. Oh my God, that is a beautiful, beautiful mug. And it's big as well, like it's a good size. Like sometimes I've gotten mugs and they're kind of like, that big. I'm like, listen, I drink a lot. I need a lot. I need a bigger mug. This is designed by Rosie Thorns 88. What is that? What is it? <laughs> so throw three ball through bit. Terrible. Terrible. I don't know what that is. Sorry, everyone. But it's cute. 
Great for keeping souls safe until they can be resurrected. Right, I'm just gonna accept I don't know what this is. I think this is more for fans of the book. Like if you're a big fan of the book, this would be something amazing, but I ain't read it yet. Is that something I should know what it is and I seem really dumb? Yes it is and yes you do because you literally went to church every Sunday growing up and saw them you idiot. Oh! They didn't have to go that hard. Okay, look at this print. That is so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so excited to read this book now. Look how gorgeous all of those people are. They are very pretty people. Board print designed by Mer Wild, featuring the main characters of the book. I love like the purple and gold. I completely vibe with that. And then I think we've got one more item before we look at the book. So we have got a wishbone enamel pin designed by Stacy McAvoy Kant. So it's got a quote on it. It says, it snaps, split the world in two. That's cute. All of my enamel pins live here. I just have them on the bookshelf here. I don't wear them. So they're like they're like always in book boxes, but I don't I don't wear them. So they just sit on my bookshelf and look cute. And then let's look at the book. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. I love the cover redesign. Like I'm kind of obsessed. I'm kind of obsessed. <gasps> She's incredible. She's a beautiful person. Her talent and brilliance is beyond. Okay, we got another quote on the front. It said she had been an innocent once, a little girl playing with feathers on the floor of a devil's lair. She wasn't innocent now. And then, oh my God. We have this beautiful, beautiful art print on the inside of the dust jacket. That is stunning. Like that has got such a high, high level of detail to it. This book looks like a gag. Like I need to read this right now. This book looks incredible. Look at all of that detail. That is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful edition. I'm so shook. I'm so shook. Okay, well, I loved this box. Feast your bloody eyes on these high quality goods. I am shook at how many high value items you get in this box. Like you get the book sleeve, you get the mug, you get this amazing book tin, this massive book tin, and you get the bookends. Like to me, they are the really big items and to get four of them, I'm shook. My favorite um, item is probably either the book sleeve or the mug, cause it's Strange the Dreamer and I have read Strange the Dreamer but you get a lot of really great quality items with this. So this makes me wanna get special editions more, just in general, I don't tend to get them because they are pricey, but I think you're really, as, as well as getting like an amazing special copy of a book, you're getting so many great items as well. And I think that's something people forget about when they're like buying a special edition is all the amazing items you get. And that's why it's so much fun to get them for books you love because you get items for something you love, you know, that are linked to it. Like I think I love the mug so much cause I've read the book whereas the other items are a little lost on me. I think I would love them even more had I read the book. That was an amazing, 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 amazing box. Amazing box. Hey. <laughs> Success. Let's now get into the December box. This is exciting to me because I don't know what the book is. Like that's always my favorite part is finding out the book. Oh my God, there is so much in this box. Right, let's go. So our theme this month is a legacy to protect. Oh my God, we've got another mug. <laughs> I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. I love mugs so much. Okay, what is this gonna be? Oh my God, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'll be showing you a close up right now. And like, don't you die? Like, it's so pretty. What is this from? Oh, it's inspired by the David Bad Trilogy by S.A. Chakraborty. I really want to read that. That I'm like, I'm trying to not even think about it until I've finished the series I'm currently reading. Like, there's a lot of series out there I want to read, but I just, I pretend I do not see it. I pretend I do not see it because I can't be wanting to read all these books. Like, I, I can't. I've got to finish the ones that I have started first or own. And again, good size. That's the size I want to see. That's the size I want to see. Oh, we got another enamel pin by Stacey McAvoy Kant. This one is inspired by the Ravens and it says Queen of Cups. And I assume that's Queen of something else. The stars? They're like tarot cards. Very cute. Again, it will sit here. <laughs> I don't have much use for them, but I do really enjoy them. Oh, okay. They are after my own heart. You naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. <laughs> oh, this is 
inspired by the poppy war get out i love the poppy war oh my god so exciting so this is a desk pad and it has a quote on it saying destiny is a myth destiny is the only myth the gods choose nothing you choose inspired by the poppy war and it's got all the days of the week a tbr and a to-do list this could become my weekly to-do list at the moment i like have a printable i just print out off the internet every week but this is like exactly the format I need. That's so nice. I'm so excited to have an item for a book I've actually read. <laughs> Cause it doesn't always happen. That really, that's like after my own heart, like to-do lists. Like I haven't done a task if I haven't ticked it off a to-do list. Like that is exactly what I want to see. What is this? History, huh? Bet we could make some. This is a photo print album that says on it, history, huh? Bet we could make some, which is a quote from Red, White and Royal Blue, which I have read, but unfortunately I didn't like it. <laughs> this may be something I re-gift to someone who really loves Red, White and Royal Blue, because there's like a million people out there who love it, and I am just the person who trash talks it all the time. But it is cute. The one thing I would say is that it looks very pixelated, like I wish they had used a higher res picture. This is probably for some kind of reason, but like it looks very blurry and pixelated because the image was too small. So I just wish it looked a bit cleaner in that sense, but it's cute. But like I said, there's probably someone out there who would love to have this, one of my friends, and I'll probably just re-gift it at some point when I can see people again, because I haven't seen people in like a year. Not that I really saw people before that, but I feel like I've got it in me now to see people. <laughs> Lies, lies, and more lies, and lies on top of lies. Then we've just got two smaller items, which I'll show you really quick. We have a nail file. What's this inspired by? Oh, Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, I, I hate how they feel. Oh my god. Oh my god, my skin's crawling. I, sorry, I can't hold that up. I bite my nails still. So let's just not talk about that. <laughs> and then we have some framed photo magnets of it doesn't tell me who these people are it just says the cool clan am i supposed to know who those people are i don't know i hate to say it i hope i don't sound ridiculous i don't know who this man is i mean he could be walking down the street i wouldn't i wouldn't know a thing sorry to this man and then very luckily i did know this was coming we have got two books this month so i'm very intrigued to see what they are let's start with the smaller one i have no clue what these could be oh okay so we have the cousins by karen m mcmanus i've always been intrigued by these because they're like ya murder mystery thrillers but i have never heard brilliant things about like one of us is lying two of us can see keep a secret all of those but this one has intrigued me i think i always requested this on net galley but then i know i never get around to things on net galley the story family are the envy of their neighbors until it all falls apart the four children are suddenly dropped by their mother with a single sentence you know what you did oh calm down Calm down. Years later, they receive a mysterious invitation to spend the summer at their grandmother's resort. They have no choice but to follow their curiosity and meet the woman who's been such an enigma their entire lives. Very intriguing. Okay, I feel like I could like this. I feel like it's gonna be a book that I pick up fairly soon because it is so short. It's just over 300 pages and it's kind of very accessible. It's got some lovely black sprayed edges and yeah, I'm actually very excited for this. I'm happy that I've got my hands on one of these books without having to buy it myself so I can figure out if the author is actually for me or not. And then let's see what the main book is. Oh, it's The Raven. I was not expecting that. By uh, Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. Can we talk about pink sprayed edges? The gag. <laughs> At first glance, the sisters of the ultra exclusive Kappa Rho Nu, the Ravens, seem like typical sorority girls. Ambitious, beautiful, and smart. They're the most powerful girls on Wesley College's Savannah, Georgia campus. But the Ravens aren't just regular sorority girls. They're witches! Scarlet Winter has always known she's a witch and she's determined to be the sorority's president, just like her mother and sister before her. But if a painful secret from her past ever comes to life, she would lose everything. Vivi Devereaux has no idea she's a witch and she's never lived in one place long enough to make a friend. So when she gets a coveted bid to pledge the ravens, she vows to do whatever it takes to be part of the magical sisterhood. The only thing standing in her way is Scarlet, who doesn't think Vivi is raven's material. But when a wicked power rises on campus, the girls will have to put their rivalry aside to save their fellow sisters. 
I'm intrigued. I do like the idea of like a sorority house. I don't think I've ever read something like that. And I'm constantly saying I want more witchy stories. So in terms of which box I'd recommend more, I think you get, obviously you pay more with the exclusive edition boxes, like the special edition boxes, but I think it's worth the money because if you're buying that, it's either a book that you love, like a book that's really close to your heart, or it's a series that you really, really want to read. And so you get items that go possibly with a book that you love. However, I think if you like being surprised about what books you get, and that's something you really enjoy, like just getting a book and reading it straight away, like completely out the blue, I think that your monthly boxes are the better bet. I love that they gave us two books. Like I really appreciate getting two books because that's such good value for money. Like in terms of value for money, getting these two books, like this retails for $7.99 and this retails for $14.99. So like you're almost making all of your money back just on these. I would really recommend both. I think this has made me a lot more likely to buy special edition boxes in the future myself, especially if it's for a series that I already love, because I think it'd be so exciting to open it and get all those items of something you love with characters that you love. So if I never create do special editions in the future, I think I'll definitely be getting them just because of how amazing the quality of the contents were, but they pull it out the bag every time. And I'm really intrigued by both of these books. I think they're really interesting choices. So that was my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you got either of these boxes and what you thought of them. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.